Hi, and welcome to Tranquility Moms. I'm Coach Kathy, and we are answering your questions today. We've got a question that came in from Beth. It says, hi, Coach Kathy. My husband, myself, and our two kids, ages five and six, cute, uh, have a weekend getaway coming up. I know you say that vacation can help to strengthen the family and strengthen our faith. I want to talk to the kids more about our faith and spiritual stuff. I would love any suggestions. Thanks so much, Beth. Oh, that's great, Beth. You know, this is one of the areas that I really feel pulled to talk about vacation. I think we have been on so many vacations where we're go, 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 and we're not appreciating each other. We're not appreciating nature. We're not appreciating God's presence all around us. I really feel like the two ways that we can increase our faithfulness in front of our children and bring it into their hearts is by what we do and what we say. What we do, that is where they're watching us, right? If I'm doing something else in life, um, how I get dressed in the morning, how I eat my vegetables, uh, how I thank a friend, they're watching and role modeling how I do that. Also, how I say, what, what are the words that I use? What's the tone? that I use. Those things that I say or that I'm observing and articulating to them. I love in the car ride where I'm talking to them. Hey, do you see that sign? What does that sign say? Grand opening. That means that those individuals have purchased a new business and they're going to be opening it up. It's the first time people are going to be coming and experiencing it. And they, oh, grand opening. That's interesting. That sounds exciting, mom. Can we go to the grand opening? It sparks conversation, right? So you said five and six years old. Absolutely. You're talking little ones that are sponges. They want to hear about everything. So why don't we do that same learning and teaching about our faith? I feel like the easy first way is by doing and saying things about gratitude, right? How am I showing gestures of gratitude? I did that whole video of the best ways that people love to receive appreciation. Well, Looking at how we show gratitude to other people, whether it's the waitress that's been helping us all of the meal and all of our preferences and all of our, our things we need. We need more condiments. Uh, oops, now we spilled. Now we need more napkins. You know? Well, mom and dad showing that gratitude for how much this individual is serving us on vacation. Or we're on our family trip and we want to make sure that we are thanking those that carried our bag, got us to the place we needed to be on time, and gave us directions. So speaking in a term of gratitude, speaking in terms of gratitude in front of the kids about what a blessing this is, that we're on this vacation together. We were able to get away. We were able to spend time with one another. We're able to be in this beautiful, beautiful environment. She says it's a weekend getaway. Great, we've carved out some time to vacate what we have going on and spend this time together on a trip. That is where we are sharing what we're grateful for. We can offer that up to God. God, thank you for how much we are blessed together and healthy and capable of going on this trip this weekend. What you say also demonstrates to them. And so that's where what you do, but also what you say. Saying thankful things to them. Being appreciative of what you see in the earth and the nature and the trees and the bushes and the ground and the sky. That talking about that in terms of God's creation and how he has provided and masterminded all of this. The kids will start to draw a love for who is this that designed all of this? Who is this that created how amazing this nature is around us? Thankful and grateful for each other, for our love connections, for our qualities and characteristics that we have in each other. That gives the children a way to pray in a way of focusing on an attitude of gratitude. And as you do that, 
You pray also for what we ask for and what we're thankful for. So what do we also ask for? The kids may pray, tomorrow we've got tickets to something outdoors. Please, God, please don't let it rain. That's adorable. Let them put their needs and their asks and their requests right up to God, knowing that he is with us everywhere we go. Asking God for your own patience. Oh, God, this is a really long line that we're waiting in. It's really taking more time than we thought it would. Please give me patience. Give me a distraction. Give me a song to sing in my head, Holy Spirit. That is how you are showing the kids over and over your faithfulness, your spirituality, and just how in touch with God's love that you are. Put down in the comments below, what are other ways that you have opened up your kids' eyes and hearts to God on a vacation? What are other ways in your day-to-day -day living that you are bringing them closer to God? My name is Coach Kathy, and this is Tranquility Moms. We invite you to subscribe. We put out videos every week. We have blog posts that go up. We want you to be part of this community where we talk about family and faith, travel and wellness. Today, take care of yourself. 